Hello friends, this video on wave optics part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction Hydrogen's principle Reflection of plane waves and refraction of plane waves Coherent and incoherent sources Interference Young's double slit experiment, diffraction, resolving power of optical instruments, and polarization. So, like always, uh, again, here in this lesson, we would like to see why are we studying wave optics. In fact, before that, you should know what are we going to study in wave optics because in our previous lesson that is ray optics uh, we studied all about uh, mirrors lenses image formation and their applications like uh, the optical instruments uh, microscope telescope uh, human eye and all those things so there we we studied about some of the properties of light like for example reflection of light refraction of light so all those stuff so here we say we are going to study wave optics so i mean it, it sounds little confusing right if you look at the names that was ray optics and this is wave optics that means again it has something to do with the optical things right the the telescope microscope they all fall under those optical instruments and all so what are we exactly going to study in wave optics so when you have this term wave that means it has something to do with wave properties so here in this lesson we will talk about optics again that is we will talk about reflection of light we will talk about refraction of light we will talk about some other important properties of light which have a lot to do with wave nature anyways this is the first i mean this is the start of the lesson so um, things might look little confusing for you but as we go ahead you will see why is the lesson named wave optics some of the important applications which we will come across when we when we reach towards the end of the lesson are your 3d glasses they are an application or uh, that is that is an important use where you find that one of the properties of wave optics that is polarization is put into use your cameras whether it is a photographic camera or it is a, a camera for recording 3d views so those 3d photographic cameras or maybe your car film the thin film which you have on your car right which protects you to to some extent from sunlight right so these are some of the things which are important applications of some of the properties of wave nature of light so now i have introduced the term wave nature of light okay so let us start the lesson without discussing much about applications because in this lesson we are going to focus more on the theoretical aspect than the practical aspect like in the previous lesson we have already looked at the practical aspect like the microscope telescope and all those stuff so here we we need to focus more on the theoretical aspect so the, the purpose of this lesson it is to study the wave nature of light so what is that wave nature of light let us come we'll see now thank you please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos Try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.